All right, we have our blending board in front of us, gathering the tools, and there's a lot of fiber right here. This is for June, and I really like this fiber. It is all sheep's wool, and there's a little bit, the pink has a bit of just interesting texture in here. So this pink has a bit more purple, it has a bit more of a darker pink, a hot pink, just a very interesting color, I really like this. So you have found uh, Razzle Dazzle Red Betree and Yarns, our YouTube channel, we do all sorts of things with fiber arts, we do all sorts of things with fiber animals, and if you're really looking into uh, getting into this, we certainly have a lot of videos that talk about the behind the scenes when you become a member of the channel. So I have all sorts of different colors. This is a specific yarn that we are going to be creating. This is the Spinner Surprise Box from uh, RazzleDazzleRabbitry.com for the month of June. So this is three ounces of all this fiber. You get all of this for $29.99 and it's pretty awesome. So what we want to do is we want to uh, take all of this fiber and it's going to be arranged in a certain way. So I want to start with the black. This is how I want my yarn to be. I want the yarn that I create, and um, when we create this yarn, there's a couple different ways to do this. There's a couple different ways to spin this yarn or prepare this yarn to make it do what I want it to do. We are going to be using something that is called chain plying. So. All of the, and we don't have to, you can split this into three one ounce sections and you can ply it together, three, um, three singles, ply that together, but we're actually gonna chain ply this. So we're gonna start with the black, then the navy blue, then we are going to do this off-white, this beautiful off-white color, the uh, pink, and then this raspberry color. So this is how the yarn is gonna be, and these are how the colors are gonna go in the yarn. So, but why do we still need this blending board? This is roving. I really want this fiber to be opened up. And it's okay if on some of this, the black blends in with a bit of the blue. So I still, I want to spin this. I want to prepare this fiber a certain way. I want this opened up. And that's why I'm putting it on the blending board. So that's why I'm doing this. You can totally just spin this from roving. You don't have to do this. But it's, again, just a preference because I don't want this yarn to be, um, you know, I don't, I don't want it to be anything other than what I already described. And I'm going to spin this consistently, I think. I could really change my mind. But I think right now I'm going to spin this consistently and then chain ply it. To chain ply, you do not have to spin a yarn consistently. You actually can spin the yarn thick and thin. Um, you can still chain ply a thick and thin yarn. So this is what I have for now right here. We're gonna add a bit more fiber on here because the blending board can support it. This just really opens these fibers up. That's what I want, I don't want I don't want to be spinning from roving where it's quite sticky. I want these to be very free flowing fibers because I'm going to spin this yarn fast. And that's what I prefer. So like I said, this is an ombre yarn, so not all this black, it doesn't appear like it's going to fit in here, and that's just fine. So for now, we're going to keep these, once I make these real legs, we're going to arrange these and we're going to keep them separated. So I won't have just a pile of real legs, I will have uh, a line of real legs. So I'm not doing this with the black to blend anything, to blend this black with any other color. I've got it on my little six here, take it off, and I'll be able to make three more little roll eggs from this. Recently I used this blending board with Angora. 
There's a video of that available. If you want to check that out. Alright, here we go. This one's kind of crazy on these dowels. So three row legs complete. We're going to take this black again and load it back on. Now this black is not going to fill this blending board. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take a little bit of that navy blue and fill the rest of the blending board up. So this black and that blue, this will combine together a little bit. So this is where a bit more of that ombre effect, that fading effect, the blending of it will come into play. See, we're almost out of the black, which is just fine. There we are. Let's press it down. Oh, pieces of black. Oh, don't want that. We just press it down. Now. A couple more pieces here. This is a beautiful blue, beautiful, beautiful blue. I don't even know, like I was calling it a navy blue. It's more like this royal, rich, beautiful blue. I love this color and it feels so soft. This is going to be a wonderful soft yarn and it's gonna spin up really, really nice. So I'm putting this piece on, this blue on, and I'm gonna need a little bit more blue because this blending board is not full yet. I want this more full. So I have another piece in my lap, and we're going to put this on. So we're going to just keep doing this with the blue. This will be the last section of this before I press it down and then take this off. Okay, that's it. We didn't use it all. Let's press it down. We take it off. A little bit of black, a little bit of blue in there. I'm putting this in a row. So there's three row legs of pure black, and then there's going to be what appears to be hopefully three row legs. I left the speakers on on my computer, that's why it's doing that. Three row legs of this color. Then after this, we're gonna do the blue. So you can see we will fade from black to blue. And that's okay if there's some of that black left on this blending board, that's just fine. If there's a few fibers left on, we're not. That doesn't matter with this yarn. Doesn't matter at all. I'm actually going to take this one in half. I'm going to use this to press it down. And put more on. This is gonna, these are gonna be all blue. Completely 100% of this beautiful blue look like. There is going to be what appears to be a little bit of this blue left, I can tell. There we go. So this is ready. I can take this off after I press this down. Like roll it out of it. Use my dowels. So we have one color completely done. That's the black. We've made row legs completely out of the black. Here's a blue. Beautiful. And we'll make two more row legs. Excellent. 
Excellent. And the last one. blue the blue is made perfect we have a little bit of that blue left if you can remember we're going to push this blue down this is the last of it so we're just putting it on this blending board pressing it down i was really excited for quite a few months um, but this was going to be coming up with this fiber so this is all for the blue we are going to put on that white now Wonderful, soft, white merino wool. This is a thinner roving, as you can see. Load this on here. white on there because we hope to get three row legs off of this that's what we're hoping for three 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 that's kind of what you see the trend here this will be an interesting mix the blue fading into the white push this down and this is ready to take off And we'll try to make three row legs out of this. So if you're if you're using the fiber and you're watching this video, you're going along, this is how we're preparing it for this. You do not have to prepare this fiber this way. If you get this fiber and if you look at this fiber and there's something else you want to do with it, it is obviously entirely up to you. These, this is just, if you want to follow along and create the exact same yarn that I'm making in this video, this is how I'm doing it. Last row leg. So this is the twelfth row leg that we have completed of this. Oh my gosh. And this side a disaster. There. Bit of a wonky row leg, but that is just fine. Next, just white. Loading on this row leg. When I do things, I don't do them slow. I, I prefer to be very, uh, to do things efficiently, quickly with my time. Because you guys have probably seen videos from the past years and explaining why. Because I run this as a business and there's only so much time I have in making the products. There's only so much time during the day and being cognizant, being very aware of that time, and becoming proficient at a tool and to be able to use it quickly is a goal of mine. You don't have to do it this way. You can do this at whatever pace you want. This is not required by any means whatsoever. A little bit more we're going to load on here. This is the last bit that we're loading on. We'll get three row legs out of this. We will save whatever of this white is left over for blending with the pink. So, so far you guys know that we have fully completed two of the colors. We've fully completed the blue and we have fully completed the black uh, roving colors. This is the third color we're working with. Just 
just a pure white, off-white uh, roll leg. I like this fiber. This is, if you feel this fiber, if you have this, it's very soft. It seems like, I don't know, I, I would love to wear just like knit a camisole just out of this, which I had one of my yarn friends uh, from New Zealand, my Angora rabbit friends, she was discussing she had made a, a camisole out of Angora, which is, sounds amazing. All right, those three again. Let's put this white down. This is the last of the white. Once we use up this white, this is it. We're gonna use the brush to push this down. A little bit thicker on that side, that's fine. Next, we're putting on, this is gonna be so fun, the spin. Look at all the texture in there. So there's a spot of texture in this yarn, something of interest. I like having things of interest in my yarn. So once I put this on, I will brush it down, press it down again. All right, a little bit more pink. We will get all of this pink on here, this in my hand, that is. in half and put this on here a little bit more this is going to be the only one that is not full is what it how it's coming out this is going to be the only one that is not just pink um, just because there's not as much pink uh, how I put it on here which is fine but this is a slight blend of that pink and that off-white Oh, this is very nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to make some roll eggs. I really like this texture. This is going to be fun. There's quite a few different snaps and pops in this. I like that. Let's just load this all on here. Get in the rest of that white right here. That's what I was doing. This is the last one. It's a very big girl leg. Okay, this is all I have left of the pink. Let's put this on here in some sort of fashion. And we are going to be done with this pink. This is too thick over here. Put it over there. Last is this raspberry color. Beautiful raspberry color. That's going to be very nice with this textured pink with all the details in that. So for this it looks like we are going to be able to make three roll eggs with a slight blend of that pink. I'll have to use the brush after this to press this down. And we'll keep loading this dark raspberry color in there. And then this color, of course, is how we're going to end just row legs of this color. A little bit more. All right, brush that down and take this off. You can just see a little bit of that detail in here from what was left over of the pink. And 
some of it has stuck into the blending board. There we go. I had to roll it up. Some of it has stuck a bit more. Whoop. Now the last bit is just this color. So all day our little chickens have been, little ch there's a couple little chicks in the house and all day they had been chirping since this morning, off and on. So they're a bit needy. So this evening, of course, after I get done with this, we will be attending to their little chick needs. So if you hear that in the video, that's what that is, a couple little Silkies, chicks that are in the house. I don't know. Um, I don't know how it will go with the silky chicks. We'll see. The cat was definitely interested in them when we first brought the little chicks home, but now doesn't care. We have some outdoor cats. It's very interesting how they leave all of our ducklings and chicks and chickens oh I just find it very interesting like they know not to go after them okay we're gonna put the rest of this on here and then all of this will be done and we will be able to start spinning this now all we're doing is we're gonna spin this into a consistent, traditional single on the Ashford Elizabeth II spinning wheel. That's it. That's all we're doing. We're not turning this into an art line. We're gonna spin it into a single. So once you get this done, you can start doing that if you wanna make this particular yarn. And this is gonna be three ounces spun up all on one bobbin. Once that's done, what we're gonna do is we are going to use a center. We can either switch out bobbins or use uh, center pole ball, turn it, ball winder, turn it into a center pole ball, and we are going to start chain plying it together. So there we go. This is the last three row legs. Very nice, very, very nice. This is a very exciting yarn. Now, of course, you could do this is not the right brush for this. It's you can do whatever you want with this. With this fiber. So if you get this spinner surprise box in the mail and you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, this would be, you know, one of the things I thought of doing is this is perfect yarn for an art yarn, of course. You know, this is really, or perfect fiber for an art yarn. I call the yarn and the fiber the same in videos. I don't know. I think it's just the stress of making a video. But, you know, you could definitely do whatever you want with it, however it speaks to you, because it does when you get it. it this fiber has its own opinions, so of course you've got to listen to it, see what it has to say. Alright, here we are. This is the last of it. That's it. All of those Rolex, all of that fiber, all three ounces, made up into Rolex. Thank you very much. I hope everybody has an excellent day. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're interested in more videos, become a member, join the channel. Bye.